Yes, yes, yes. Have you seen, have you seen, have you seen this right here? Hold on for a moment right here. Do you want to bring up this page? We have seen this previously. When you look up Haile Selassie in Mexico, look what you see right here. Okay, so here, right, His Majesty Kadamal Haile Selassie, his visit to Mexico, right? Because Mexico was, I think, one of the first and maybe the few, if not only, countries back in the 1930s, you know, with the tie in the fascist invasion of Ethiopia that stood on the side of Ethiopia's, Ethiopia's just cause and his imperial majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, the king of kings of Ethiopia, pleading that just cause before the Gentiles, the League of the Gentiles, the League of Nations, international community back then, right? But you see this one that says false, you see that you see the one that, that that red that red one that says false, right? Let's, let's actually click on this for a moment, right? Let's see if we do right here. Okay, 1954, Emperor Haile Selassie became the first ever head of state from an African nation to pay an official visit to Mexico. So there's a whole article here, Wikipedia, but then you see this Africa check. I've been noticing Africa check. Right, this is the so-called FB Facebook checks. And we call it like sneak dissing. You know, when somebody sneak dissing, they're not overtly dissing you. They even act like, oh, they're trying to be helpful, but there's like a sneak diss in it. Right? And we've been noticing this for a while. Right? Um, certain um West Africans, right? And I gotta say it like this because we talk about African unity, we're gonna have to call these things out. We even see it amongst the Europeans and even the Asian nations. You know, they often, you know, will call each other out on certain things and, you know, have their discussion in order to strengthen relationships. So we here over here, right, we Ethiopian Hebrews, we Beta Israel over here in the Americas, you know, black American, you know, we, we have a position where we can kind of speak on these things, right, without being overly allied or aligned to any of the 54 countries, with us, maybe the exception is Ethiopia, right? For the historical reasons, you know, of so-called Negroes, you know, the Negro, Black American, oh, and the Blacks over here in the Americas, and the Ethiopia historical connection, both in modern times and also, are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, right? But here, 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 you see on the africacheck.org, there was another one that they did. It was when His Majesty had visited Jamaica. He was in Jamaica. He was speaking for a particular Rasta man, right? A, a, a Rastafari. You can see it clearly in the picture. Um, and now that picture is important because prior to that particular picture, there was this disinformation. You know, it seems as though there's like disinformation that keeps getting regurgitated and recirculated, you know, in. It seems like every generation, a lot of these kind of things that popping up on social media, right, have already been settled kind of years ago. You know, like Ethiopians don't regard themselves as black or Negro. And we've been hearing a lot of that. And as we watch it, it's other Africans, you know, from one of the 54 or so nations. Remember, there's 54 nations, right? How many languages? I mean, I think there's, there's at least 3,000 tribes and uh, maybe a couple of hundred languages at least that are spoken on the continent of Africa. But for us, Ethiopia, there's a particular link with Ethiopia historically, especially for us as so-called black Americans. You know, we prefer that particular terminology, especially when speaking on these subject matters than perhaps saying African, right, American. You know, the African Americans, more correctly, are those Africans from the continent, from one of those 54 countries that come to, you know, America. But we black Americans here, yes, we know our historical roots on the continent. But the sneak dissing, you want to speak about the sneak dissing, right? Are certain West Africans sneak dissing, right, Ethiopia and Haile Selassie? Now, I don't know what you know about the OAU. This is not going to go into the OAU, the Organization of African Unity. But there's an interesting history and write-up as that was being, you know, formulated, right? And what ones don't know is that the continent, there's certain, I can say, that there's certain parts of the continent. We know that the continent, the Berlin Conference had carved up the continent. And this is also where they renamed the Ethiopian 
continent, right, to Africa. This is where the term Africa becomes continental, right, and they renamed the continent of Ethiopia. In fact, West Africa, right, we're using West Africa now just to make the point of reference. They're really West Ethiopians. But back in the OAU times, you know, in the prior times as, as unity was being, you know, brought together, there's a brother named Yilma, right, who did a lot of very, very important works. He's a central, you know, point man, right, in the agenda, right, of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, right, to free up, right, the, the continent from, you know, the white supremacist colonialism and so forth and so on, right, and to unite that first stage of, we could call it, African unity, you know, based on that geopolitical term, right? So we recognize the term Africa in its present use, but we also recognize, you know, the limitedness of it and how it was imposed on the continent formerly known as Ethiopia. But we find that from that time, there was the Casablanca group, Monrovia, there was different kind of power blocks. Like in the West Africa, there was, if I were correct, I think it was Casablanca, right? But there's also the Monrovia, Casablanca, like the White House, Monrovia. Some Africans, as we know, you know, who have been colonized by the English, you know, the English speaking. Some have been, were colonized, you know, or, you know, colonialized, as it were, you know, by the French. Right? And this also causes a lot of challenges even today, right? Various different influences, right, that have influence also from the Arab world and not even to get into some of the different, you know, geopolitical, religious kind of things. This is not that. This right here is sneak dissing. So here they say, no, train station in Mexico named after Ethiopia, not its emperor. That's, that's a lie. That's a lie, but what they do right here, right? Let's let's do this right here. What they do right here is this right here. Let's just do this right here. Let's go right here. They put up this big meme. I don't know if you've seen this meme. We caught this, I think, maybe a couple of weeks ago, right? And we caught the other one where his majesty's in Jamaica, and they have false on that one. I don't know if it's the same Africa, Czech, or whatnot like that group. But I think it's the same mentality because, you know, we're saying, well, why are certain, it seems like West Africans dissing or critiquing and doing these sort of things, you know, concerning Rastafari, right? <laughs> we say Rastafari, the Rastafari movement, right? So we ethnic Rastafari, we're saying like, you know, we so-called Negro black Rastafari, you know, with that connection with the continent. And then why are they doing this with Haile Selassie, that which is involved Haile Selassie. And the other meme, basically, somebody must have taken the picture, right? And we're going to share that particular vid. We have that vid that we had, we had did. We'll check to see that we have it still ready, and we'll upload it, right? And they basically were saying that it's not Bob Marley, because somebody had reposted the picture, right? And said that Haile Selassie meets, meeting Bob Marley. Right, because I guess maybe to some people every Rastaman, every black Rastaman look like the same black Rastaman. I don't know. But somebody had posted that on their Facebook page. Right? And then th these these fact checkers, you know, I don't know who appointed them or they appointed themselves, they go and fact check. Well, hey, nothing wrong with that. But sometimes the fact checkers might need to get their facts checked. So what they're saying right here, you see how this is posted? So we see his imperial majesty wearing a sombrero, right, in Mexico, in Mexico, right, in 1954. They even, in the article, they even seemed like they, they first initially questioned whether this was really his majesty, whether this was, I think they probably thought it wasn't his majesty, right? And it seems as though, if we be honest about so-called African unity and even the AU, you know, and where it has gone to, you know, from the original OAU, we look at the progress, right, of those real revolutionary leaders, you know, in the guidance of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. See, at that time, African unity, when we look at that stage of African unity, there's a lot of progress that went on then, but something, something happened. And what we are in today is the aftermath of it. And this is kind of an example of it, just a briefly a quick example. So this is what the, the meme had said. Did you know that 
Mexico was the only country that supported Ethiopia against Italian invasion. This picture of Selassie, now we got to put respect on the name, right? At least Haile Selassie, right? Haile Selassie, I, right? We say Selassie, I, I, I get it, right? But if, you know, we are called chosen and faithful, you know, respect on the name, right? Of Selassie I was made in Mexico, Mexico City in 1954, where it looks like he was enjoying them as much as they enjoyed him. In his honor, they named the metro station after him. So what this, these fact checkers here, or pseudo alleged self-proclaimed fact checkers, right? Hey, if you got good facts, you know, but we see sneak this in, right? So africacheck.org gets fact check. Right? Africacheck.org needs to get fact checked. Right? Because we see sneak dissing right here. Now they say that no train station in Mexico, in Mexico, named after Ethiopia, not its emperor. Is this a fact? Is this a fact? So here, first of all, let's just show the article right here. And then we have a few more exhibits. I think it's the same ones. And when I saw they have English and French, I said, oh, oh my. I said, oh my, oh, oh, oh my. You know what I mean? Because you have to recognize what the nations, the Gentiles, the European nations did, right? And even from the Belgium conference. You know, first of all, they renamed the continent, right? From the name they encountered, right? the continent as Ethiopia or Tobia, the good land, right? It says there was a garden eastward in Eden. We could just call it the Eden, that good land, that land of delights. And because of their greed, the Europeans, right, back in the, um, the Belgium, right, conference, divided up and renamed it. We always talk about they divided, how they divided Africa or they the scramble for Africa. We don't talk about how they renamed the continent Africa. That's a fact right there. They renamed the continent Africa, right? That's when this new name, the new name for the continent, the Ethiopia, the new name for the continent of Ethiopia, Africa, the Berlin Conference Connection. So here on this so-called Africa check, they say, and this is from 13th of April, 2021. They say, no, train station in Mexico named after Ethiopia, not its Emperor Selassie. They are liars. This is not a fact here. Now, if you go through, you know, their presentation, they go through this, they go through that. They say right here, it shows a black and white photo of a smiling man with a strong resemblance to Emperor, Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie wearing a sombrero or hat. Selassie ruled the country from 1930 to 1974. Okay. Now, if you read that and go through that and just, just think on it, it's like, are they doubting that this is imperial majesty? It's like that's written in the sense of, well, a smiling man for strong resemblance. So at first, initially, they were looking for some fault. When he saw someone post this up and saying what they said, that Ethiopia was only supported by Mexico, somebody, somebody got offended. But the fact is that the train station was named after Ethiopia and his majesty ethiopia and, and we're gonna prove it to you we, we looked at the article and we said let me find out if they're gonna show you the plaque are they gonna show us the plaque there was a plaque that was put up are they gonna show us a plaque we didn't sh see them show a plaque so this is what we we would call over here sneak dissing right west africans sneak dissing right sneak dissing east africans or more more directly, sneak dissing, right? Certain Africans, right? I call them careless Africans, sneak dissing Haile Selassie. And this is not the first time. Even that other particular article, yeah, somebody just posted on their Facebook and said that, and it was tweeted, like, I think many times, or it was, it was shared. It was shared many times. And in that other write-up, they was talking about, oh, and this was shared many times where Hollis, where they said that Hollis Selassie met with Bar Marley, and this is not Bar Marley. And, you know, we've seen this picture, I think, before it even got popular, Right, because we shared it out to a few ones and we started to see it much more. But before, you know, we had got a copy and shared it with others, we didn't see so many copies. But, you know, many people have looked at it. I don't know who the brother is that His Majesty is, you know, like he has his finger, you know, like he, he's telling him something. And often we say, you know, like, you know, like he, he's like he's instructing, you know, like listen to what I'm telling you to do, you know, like daddy, you know, 
Alba knows best. You know, this is how we take that particular photo. Most of us know that it wasn't Bob Marley, but somebody, 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 who, who knows who the somebody was, right? An individual posted this, and then they put in the middle of the photo between His Majesty speaking to a Rasta man, false. See, this is sneak dissing, actually sneak dissing Rastafari, right? right? Sneak dissing Hala Selassie, right? Some careless African sneak dissing Right, Hi, sneak this in, Rastafari, Selassie I and Rastafari, just for the for the title sake, right? For the for the title, people need to get this, right? And we need to check them. They need to be checked. So AfricaCheck.org, we, we're checking you here because you're saying here on 20th of June 1954, U.S. based New York Times newspaper reported that Selassie. You know, just no no respect. Not even Emperor Selassie. Like they used to have an old newspaper, Emperor Selassie. I, you know, but not even Selassie. You know, who are you talking about? You're talking about the Trinity? You're talking about the first part of the Trinity? about the Emperor, the King of Kings? But he went there on a five-day visit to Mexico. Now, here they say a Google search. These people are really looking for fall, right? And we're going to show you the, um, I, I believe she's probably a West African, you know, because... A lot of the progress and the movement of African, you could say, liberation and unity and the progress has been, how can I say, hampered by a lot of these antics that first came to our attention when we saw the, the um, OAU, the liberations for the OAU. You know, some were protesting, some West Africans were protesting to have it in Liberia or somewhere in West Africa. Right. Instead of Ethiopia, there was a lot of different mix up. You know, what I mean, like we said, maybe my color, but not my kind. But we're in this together, so-called black or so-called African peoples. Right. And so we got to point out, right, why sometimes some of us right, aren't more supportive. Right. Because we recognize that some of y'all are not really supportive. You know, uh, even some Africans think that we black Americans or we blacks over here, we owe Africa something after we and our people were ended up over here, right? And historically speaking, and, and to speak the truth, right? Historically speaking, it's only Ethiopia, right? And Ethiopia, we said under the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Hala Selassie, right? And his predecessor, right? Emperor Menelik, I have to know Emperor Menelik, you know, the early black American um, um, emissaries that had went forward over there and the good relations, the, the treaty of, I think, the treaty of amity or friendship, right? Even the United States and, you know, had the government benefited those black Americans who had sailed forward to Ethiopia, right, and had come forward. And it's very, very interesting. That's a... That's, that's some of our story we need to touch on. But here, let's just go on with this Africa check, right? And the sneak dissing, right? And we're going to prove to you, mm -hmm. we're going to prove to you that Mexico named the train station after Ethiopia because of and in the name of Haile Selassie. We're going to actually show you the monument. That's all I went through this article and I said, let me see if they have it here. Because after you do this and research for a while, and you read and you study and reading comprehension and, you know, analyzing certain things, you, you begin to recognize when somebody's making an argument. You know, like either in a the debate or something, how they're making the argument. You know, when people ask questions, you know, they, they want you to say some things and then they'll kind of drop the bomb. So I want to know, before I drop the bomb, do they even have this there on the page where they kind of explain why they're saying false because see when we go if you go and look up ethiopia and mexico it's almost like jealousy right on a certain level you look up ethiopia and mexico this is what you're going to see you're going to see his majesty with a sombrero and this big old false well what's really false is this pseudo africa of today this is really false today Right. You know, they're showing Africa like it's one continent, like there's not these artificial borders and a lot of this divide and conquer that's going on by right? division and divisiveness and not the progress that we see in the earlier days of the OAU is because once they're not really addressing the real falseness in Africa, the real falseness of a lot of our so-called African peoples or, uh, you know, African nations. 
right? You know, no, I want to talk about this. We always give Africa a pass. We say, well, look what the white man did, right? But we got to get over the ghost of the past, right? And recognize, you know, learn from the mistakes and learn from the, 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 the positive, the good that was done in the past, you know, and apply these presently. But this is what you find, right? I think this is, this is the insult right here, right? This is the insult right here. First of all, because what is false here? This is his majesty. It, it's not a man resembling his majesty, but it is his majesty. So what, what, what is false here, right? The person puts in the caption that in his honor, they named the metro station after him. Did they really? Yes, they did. But Africa checked, that's getting checked here, right? By the line of Judah, it's checking, you know, it's gonna check them. It's gonna prove that they're false. With their, they kind of jumped the gun. Because they were looking for something that they probably wanted to say that it wasn't Haile Selassie. That's what they probably wanted to say. That's why if you read it in the beginning, someone resembling looking like him, right? And then say a Google search reveals that in October 2019, the Mexican embassy in Ethiopia tweeted an uncropped version of the photo indicating that it is indeed of Selassie. No, it's indeed of Haile Selassie. Africa check, get check. So we're going to put out a meme that Africa check is false. Right, this Africa check is false for these reasons. For the first one that we mentioned, right, what they did with that photo there, that some some Facebooker, you know, some Facebooker basically had said that it was thought it was Bob Marley. Now this has happened before. We, we've heard other people call different people. Usually it's not amongst us, you know, as ethnic Rastafari, black Rastafari, but usually amongst others sometimes that they might think one person is another person. This this, this may happen. Right. There was an individual that posted it. But instead, what they did was take this historical photo and put false right across the center of it. You have to understand, you know, that it's a it's a spiritual warfare. You have to understand, you know, the level of the warfare because it gets into people's spirits. People see this picture and they see his majesty wearing a sombrero. Then see this big false thing over Africa. Right. And don't know that what they're saying, that Africa is false. In fact, it's a pseudonym. It's a false name. Right? And the content was called Ethiopia. So we have to address the West Africans as West Africans because they're under the pseudonym. They're really West Ethiopians. But anyway, let's get to this right here. Here is what the embassy in 2019. Now, all you need is to do is do a historical research, but it shows how these people do. They do a Google research. Right? Okay, we, we Google research things too. You know what I mean? But they're saying this is what they found. Right. So here it says this year we celebrate the 70th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Mexico and Ethiopia. Don't miss our commemorative exhibition. Emperor Haile Selassie's visit to Mexico, a story of friendship between Mexico, Mexico and Ethiopia. And here, here, here is a fuller picture. You see the fuller picture. Right. Sabanya Ahmet. Right. Yeah. Who led to Yosh uh, Ginyet. What is it? Um, Kubra Baal, yeah, the commemorative of this 70th, um, you know, meeting, friendship, you know, diplomatic relations is how it's brought out in the translation, right? A a Mex, a Mex kid, a Mex kid. Uh, I think that's how it goes right there. I think it was one person liked it. Look at this right here. Even their snapshot, they didn't even like it, because usually it will show you if you take a screenshot and you like it. All right, so let's go on. But did Mexico really name a train station after Selassie? No, they didn't name after Selassie, named after Haile Selassie. I right. Haile Selassie first. We checked. No, you didn't check well enough. All right, and here's a proof. Right, we're gonna show you the proof they didn't check. This is the photo right here. All right, they said named in support. So see how they're trying to do little. Um, it's, this is not semantics. No, no, no. This is not semantics. This is little word games. It's, it's grammar. Right? The Africans know about grammar. Watch some of the Nollywood and the other movies and talk about grammar. Don't use no grammar. They're using grammar on me. They're trying to play word games. Like they, they understand English, right? They're trying to play word games. It's named in support of the independent Ethiopia. Right? Quote. That, remember, that's in quote. That's a quote, right? Another Google search brought up another tweet, this time by the Ethiopian embassy in Kenya. Quote, on the 22nd of June, 1954, a traffic circle in Mexico City was named Plaza Ethiopia. And in August 1980, a metro station in Mexico was built and named Metro 
Ethiopia station, it reads. All right. Now, this is what they're saying is the reason why, according to Africa Check, that's getting checked right here, right, that it was not named after Haile Selassie. All right. Here they say on June 22nd, 1954. Okay, this is the same one here. You see His Majesty here. They're unveiling the plaque, right? And look, one person commented, right, and it wasn't they didn't like it or nothing like it. They're just, they're just trying to find, you know, facts to, you know, or evidence that, you know, that they're trying to present as facts. They said more searching letters to Mexico City's government website where the history and details of Metro Ethiopia are explained. Right? The station, quote, used to be Gloretta de Ethiopia, named in support of independent Ethiopia after Italian invasion in 1935, the city website says. Quote, the lion's head uh, station logo is in reference to Ethiopia. Inside a plaque commemorates the 1954 visit to Mexico by Haile Selassie, who was the emperor of Ethiopia from 1930 to 1974, end quote. Mexico was one of the countries in the League of Nations that imposed sanctions on Italy and was the only one to call for reinforcement of sanctions against Italy for violating Ethiopia's sovereignty. Last quote right here. To commemorate Mexico's assistance to Ethiopia during its occupation by Italy, Ethiopia named a center square in Addis Ababa, Mexico Square, Mexico Ababa, currently Mexico is a non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, end quote. The Ethiopian embassy in Kenya tweeted on the 25th of March, 19, uh, 19, 25th of March, 2021. Now, this is the researcher. So it's Grace, uh, what, Gichuhi, Gichuhi, I don't know if that's how she says her name, so forth and so on, but... One has to recognize, I've been seeing other posts and other things out there trying to say Ethiopians don't consider themselves so black and this. These look kind of like these old kind of white supremacist propagandists because they saw how much black folks, you know, especially in the Americas and the Caribbean, identify then, right? And even today, we see it on social media with Ethiopia. So ones and ones are, you know, trying to, you know, um, kill it before it grows, right? Or play divide and conquer. Right? But they're going after His Majesty and they're trying to say that, well, um, it wasn't named after His Majesty. So now we're going to get to our proof. So we can see right here, they could have gone on and, 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 and researched and found other pictures in case they was doubting, you know, whether it was His Majesty. But we're going to prove as we bring the presentations here, also visiting the Mayan, you know, some, I think it's the Mayan, but some of the, we say the pyramids and other um, art and facts, archaeology down in, down in Mexico, right? His Majesty is saluting, right? And being saluted, right? A newspaper article from El um, Nacional, right? And another article, El Negus, you know, right here. Here we have Rastafari TV, Haile Selassie, Ethiopia, Mexico relations, right here. Right here, His Majesty is looking at the plaque. Right now, I want you to see the part of the plaque that we can see right here. Right, yes, Plaza de Ethiopia. You can make that E out right there. Right, commemorative plaque. Right, let's go on right here. You can see it a little bit better right here. Right, it was named of Ethiopia because of His Majesty. If, if His Majesty was not part of the equation, right, everything else would not be. So, we have to recognize, you know, the person. As his majesty speaks about when we study history, it's always, you know, we find, you know, a person, though history is talking about like a lot of people, right? We, we often find a person. In fact, I want to find this right here. Something his majesty says, you know, when looking at history, right, and leadership, you know, um, you always find like there's, a, there's, there's an individual, right? There's always an individual that kind of stands for, right, that particular, like telling his story, right, is telling the story of that time, right? And we find this to be so, right, when we go to the next exhibit, trying to find this right here, might put this on pause so we can just share, right, you know, yeah, we can just share this right here. Give me one moment, brothers and sisters. It's, we're looking in selected speeches, 
right? You know, selected speeches. Um, yeah. So here, let's do this right here. Let's bring this forward. This is also all Mexico right here. Take a moment to take a look at this while we let you look at this right here. Okay, this is another picture of that. This is also, you know, down in Mexico, right? Some of the art and facts. And that's interesting because that's before these things became even more popular like they are today, right? Or nowadays, all right? His Imperial Majesty, all right? His Imperial Majesty, boom. Here is what we're looking at right here, right? All right? Plaza de Ethiopia, su uh, majestad imperial. And I'm not, not going to say my Spanish is as strong as, you know, the Hebrew or them hark right here. But Hala Selassie, I, emperador de Ethiopia, right? Describo esta placa commemorativa de su visita, visita a Mexico el día 22nd de junio, junio, right? De 1954. Okay, I know that was, that was, yeah, right? But um, got to strengthen the Romance languages, you know? The afro shemitic languages, what we focus on. But still, right here, 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 what does this say right here, right? Plaza of Ethiopia, su majestad, su majestad, majestad, Imperial Haile Selassie, right? Emperador de Ethiopia. Emperador. So here we'd like to show you this right here, right? Let's show you this right here. We're going to go to translate, right? So the basic translate that we have here, Plaza de Ethiopia, Su Majestad Haile Selassie de Ethiopia, right? Right? Ethiopian Square, or Ethiopia Square, his... Majesty Haile Selassie of Ethiopia. So yes, it was named Plaza or the Square Plaza of Ethiopia or Ethiopia Plaza. His Majesty Su Majestad, my my Majestad, is that correct? Majestad Haile Selassie de Ethiopia, right? Su Majestad, His Majesty Haile Selassie of Ethiopia. So, what does this say right here? 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 This is the plaque. We're just going to the plaque right here. What is this plaque? This is the plaque, right? And it appears that this is in something that looks like a train station, right? Don't see a fuller view of it, right? But this says the Plaza of Ethiopia. His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia. If you note, you'll note that Plaza of Ethiopia and Haile Selassie I, right, is the same size the font size it's the same size notice that so from a distance right if your eyes pick up the large words you're going to see plaza of ethiopia Haile selassie i but what it's saying here is plaza of ethiopia or ethiopia square his imperial majesty Haile selassie emperor of ethiopia <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because where it says down here, uh, commemorativa de su uh, visita, visita, right? Uh, commemorating the commemoration of his visit, uh, Mexico, to Mexico, right? On the 22nd of June, 1954. So it's very clear that they named it the Plaza of Ethiopia, of course, right? His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie. So the Plaza of Ethiopia, so Ethiopia's identification and this plaza is directly connected with Haile Selassie. Why are some of our, you know, um, pseudonymous and alleged African, West African bradas, right? Why are they going through all these leaps and bounds, it seems, to find any Facebook post here or there, right, that honors or points out a historical fact that they were unacquainted with, obviously, and they had to Google it, you know, and then get some so-called official sites when you could just look at what the, pla what the plaque says. The plaque is what showed me that that fact checked needed to get checked. That fact checked was in fact incorrect. <laughs> that fact check was in fact incorrect because here it says the Plaza of Ethiopia, his Imperial Majesty, Su Majestad Imperial, Haile Selassie, you can see that Plaza of Ethiopia and Haile Selassie is the same height as his Imperial Majesty, Emperor de Ethiopia, is also 
the same height. You can see those who are watching the vlog can see this very clearly right here, right? This is the proof right here, right? Here is another right Mexican, right? Another Mexican sister here, right? She's she's standing next to this plaque, the Plaza of Ethiopia, Su Majestad Imperial Haile Selassie. See, the Mexicans they did it correct. They did it right the way they did it. Now, Ethiopia just said they did, you know, Mexico, but I'm not even sure if they put his majesty's name in any sort of prominence. See, that, that's part of the problem we have, you know, whether it's, it's, it's west of the river now or if it's east of the river now, right? So here we have, this is, this might be in, in Ethiopia here. It says Mexico, Mexico. It says Mexico, right? Right here. This is a train line or whatever. This is Mexico. You notice that? It just says Mexico. Doesn't say why or what. Maybe there's a plaque somewhere, somewhere. Somebody take a picture of it and put it out there. Right? This is where the plaque is. Right? Ras Ababa, Regai, right? Street. Uh, this is where Mexico. This is like a, some sort of junction. Right? That I guess is called the Mexico Junction in Ethiopia. But now notice here, this is Mexico again. Right? The plaque and the station. The station that was named, they tried to just quote the first part of what the plaque says, but the plaque has a full message. The full message says Ethiopia Square, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie, Emperor, King of Kings to say, Emperor of Ethiopia. Do you understand the importance of that? Note the language they chose to use, right? Note the language that they chose to use. They chose to say, Plaza of Ethiopia, His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie. Where's the period? They tried to just take the first part and say, no, it wasn't named after His Majesty. Yes, it was named after His Majesty. Plaza of Ethiopia, His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie. That's the name of it. You see the plaque right there? Let me zoom in again. Now notice over here. Notice over here. There is a, another plaque right in some type of like i guess a strong plastic glass whatnot like that where we have his imperial majesty a picture of his majesty saluting and some other information that is not we're not able to read that in this particular um you know this particular pic that we have here this is the largest that we can make it right here but when you look at it at, in the full size remember the two young ladies they were on either side of it and the one young lady on one side of it that was a close-up here we can get a fuller view of the plaque and what's right next to the plaque see the plaque right there and what's right next to the plaque notice they don't have an outline of ethiopia right or even an outline of africa but they have a picture of Haile Selassie first. They have a picture of Haile Selassie. So, yes, the plaza was named after Haile Selassie. That fact, you know, it was like a malicious fact, right, that they tried to debunk, right? They, they basically wanted to debunk the fact, right, that it was named after his man, named after Ethiopia, his imperial majesty. What the plaza is called? De Ethiopia Su Majestad Imperial. They could have said, the Plaza of Ethiopia, when His Majesty came, or, you know, they could put his name small or whatever. They could have done it any other way. But we just went through even the translation of it so you can see what it's named. And I know a lot of even some Ethiopians, some careless Ethiopians, some careless, um, um, we could say, East Africans as well as some West Africans and, other, and some, some Negroes over here, they might not be happy about that. They're not happy that the Mexicans did what they did, you know, the way they did it. They said, what? You could just call it, they would want a plaque just to say Plaza of Ethiopia. It could have said that. And then the Scribo Esta, you know what it says at the bottom. No. They made Plaza of Ethiopia the very same size. Do you see it? Can you see it better now? The very same size as Haile Selassie I. And you can see it says Su Majestad Imperial. His Imperial Majesty. Plaza of Ethiopia, Su Majestad Imperial Haile Selassie, Emperor de Ethiopia, right? Emperor, right? He's Emperor of Ethiopia. You can see the picture on the other side over there, right? The picture on the other side. So here, 
is what the short name of it is Ethiopia Plaza de la was it Transparencia Transparencia right so here right that's a short name but the plaque tells you the fuller context so by trying to say that it was not remember what the what the Facebooker I think said they had said in honor right in honor right in honor of Haile Selassie it was in honor of Haile Selassie we showed you the plaque and that's an interesting plaque because the way they did it they clearly raised up the name of the emperor right to the same level as the size of Plaza de Ethiopia and after it says Plaza de Ethiopia there's not a period there's not a quotation mark it goes on to say Su Majestad Imperial his imperial majesty and then at the same size as Plaza de Ethiopia right we have Haile Selassie's name right so that should be very clear and then also over here this is interesting a little extra the Olmec head did you know about the Olmec head from the people of Mexico of Mexico to the people of Ethiopia this is something I think like 20 it seemed like it's 2010 they seem to be 2010 down there right and this is currently in Ethiopia you can see like I think Lucy or the Dink Nash you know on the side behind it right there um, so you can see boom they have that Olmec. So we have an Olmec head. <laughs> the Olmec head is in Ethiopia. Right? Why? Mexico Square. Mexico Square in Addis Ababa. Mexico. Adababai. Lemin Tabale. Why is it called Mexico Square? Right? Yehen Yaukalo. Like, no, do you know this? Like to say, do y'all know this? Do y'all know this? But do y'all know Yehin Yaukalu? Do y'all know that the Plaza de Ethiopia, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie, Emperor of Ethiopia? That's the full name of it. So there's no such thing as, oh, it's Plaza of Ethiopia, like it has nothing to do with His Majesty, because the plaque clearly, you know, disabuses one, right? This, these are amazing facts right here. Right, so we have Ledeta, Mexico, right, Mescal, Urayel, <laughs> some of the some of the names, you know, the names. Now this picture is a little reverse right here. You can tell by the letters in the background. They be doing that a lot with His Majesty's pictures. Check out how they be reversing the pictures of His Imperial Majesty. We showed that before. I gotta do a whole video on that, you know, to show like what they do, how the picture, you know, you have been made to believe, and then the picture right side. You know, it's, 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 it's some, you know, like, I don't call it magic, but, you know, it's, it's some trick. It's some trickery. We want to see it the right way. Like, if we reverse the letters here, you won't be able to read it. Now, this is even a better shot of it. And I think we're, like, going to, you know, kind of seal up right here, here, here. Right? But stop the sneak dissing. You know, Africa check. You know, it seems like anytime somebody says something about, you know, his majesty on Facebook, you know, these guys are jumping out the window, proverbially speaking, right, as though to dismiss. At first, no doubt, they thought, no, this couldn't be Haile Selassie. It must be maybe a Mexican that, that these, these Rastas, you know, these Rastas, you know. You know, we, we tend to love or speak positively about Africans, black people and black Africans in spite of themselves, right? But then if we peep it, there's a lot of little sneak dissing, right, that be going on. Right, you know, they want to hit the head, you know, hit his majesty. So we have to defend, you know, defend our head. Okay, 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 okay. Right here, you can see we're getting a, a call interruption right there. So we're gonna we're gonna seal up right here, and you can see down here. This is from another angle, right, where they were very proud to stand next to that plaza of Ethiopia's Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie, Emperor of Ethiopia. You can see it in the background right there, there, there. Very prominent, right? And you can see more on Ethiopia. You notice they have, he, here he's standing in front of the coronation. You can see Her Majesty right there, the coronation picture. So you have all of this. This might be in the train station. Okay, that's Isaac Haile Selassie, one of his Majesty adopted children right there. And you can see they have Ethiopia on this plaque. My right? Africa, the continent, and Ethiopia in the silhouette. And they might have some other pictures over here too. Right? And I'm sure they probably have more pictures of his Imperial Majesty because it's very clear that on the plaque of the Plaza of Ethiopia, it says 
His Imperial Majesty, the Plaza of Ethiopia, His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie, Emperor of Ethiopia. You see, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. It's the Plaza of Ethiopia because of His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie, I, Emperor, Emperador de Ethiopia. So let's check these facts right here, brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers. And here, this is why it's already gone out there, so it's already in social media. You'll find this right here. But, um, you know, we need to do maybe a, a true meme, you know, a true one on this right here, that it was named, right, in honor. In his honor, they named the metro station after him. Yes, in his honor. Yes, it was in his honor, right, they named the plaza of Ethiopia. That's, that's, that, that's the plain fact of it. It was in Haile Selassie's Su Majestad Imperial Haile Selassie Emperador de Ethiopia that they named Plaza de Ethiopia. Right? I think that historically should be very clear. You know, you could Google search wherever you want to Google search. All we needed to do was just look at the plaque, right, that the people who named the plaza named it. What did they say about it? And it becomes very clear what they said about it, you know, and they said what they said, right? And I think right here, 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 we can seal up right here, you know, like how they look so happy. They're like, here it goes, like, ta-da, here it goes right here, Plaza de Ethiopia, Su Majestad Imperial, Haile Selassie, Emperador de Ethiopia, Describo esta placa, Conmemorativa de su visita a México el día 22nd de junio de 1951. 22nd of June, yeah, I said June, I might have said July, pardon me, that was my bad right there. But this is I and I good right here that yes, the plaza was named right, in honor of His Majesty. It was named Plaza of Ethiopia in honor of. Su Majestad Imperial Haile Selassie Emperador de Ethiopia Rastafari.